I look at you and I'm like, wow, he's bright. He's, you know, he's, you know, because because a, a lot of people seem to be set in their ways, and you look like a person who, who's constantly, you know, you know, uh, embracing new information. But no, you're not. You're a misanthrope. You hate people. Why would I embrace new information? We know we fucking evolved over four billion years. We know the DNA molecule, its mission is consumption and reproduction through the process of natural selection. That's the fucking ball game. We are a psychological animal that has merely been programmed to do this consumption and reproduction thing in an elaborate, psychologically sophisticated way because we are maggots on a higher level of the biosphere. But that's all we are. That's it. That's the game. I have no interest in whether a graviton is going to pop out of a fucking nuclear collider or not. I don't give a fuck whether wormholes are eating black holes in the cosmos because we know the relevant fact. We know that consciousness is in control of ignorant forces and that we have to do a fucking hell of a lot better than that. You you sniff out the, the more moral argument and then you make it and then you cuss people out for not embracing it. Okay? And, and you have such fear of, 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 of wrongness that you insult people. No, I have the same fear that you have. I fear ignorance, okay? And that's what you're displaying. That's what this philosophy of don't dare question our creation, that's what you're basically saying. You're the one making the religious argument. No one can question the sanctity of the personal emotional bullshit organism. That somehow is the cherished stone in the universe, is the eccentric personal bullshit. And that is just fucking rubbish. The game is consciousness. The game is managing it so you don't have all these blood and guts and suffering and misery all over the goddamn table. You know, reality is the biggest fucking teacher. So these words, this, this stuff I'm saying means nothing to a human being who's ignored everything reality has told them. Okay, reality has given you a reason to see things other ways. Okay, but I know that when you're sitting in your house, when you're thinking about a way to behave, you know, there, there are other ways, but at the end of the day, you'll have to say, no points were made. Yeah, no, it's not that I have to, it's just that that's the fucking truth. All right, you sit there and talk about reality as if it's something that just carnates out of a human being without them having to apply any intellectual discipline, without them having to be humbled into being able to see it. You can't see reality if you are wearing humanist glasses, if you are obsessed or interested at all in the human organism as beautiful or wonderful, yet the truth is going to be hard for you to see. Reality is going to be hard for you to see. Because all you're going to see is the attractiveness of the heroine. You're just going to, you're going to chase the fucking dragon. You're going to be distracted by your own addiction. And the only way to step past that is to, yes, destroy your humanity for a little while, destroy your identity for a little while, and sit there and really allow the truth to sink in. That we are just fucking programmed goddamn machines, okay? And that it is a subjective bullshit arbitrary process that builds that fucking programming and that the the real dynamics of this game really it really is just about feeding the machine okay it is bacteria with brains it is dna controlling the whole thing and you can think reality is something else you can think that we are constructed for some other purpose but you are the one deceiving yourself you are the one living in the false reality